Okay, so um, I want to show today how I am rewiring my old solar panels with new wires. Um, the old panels have are using the MC3 connectors, and you can see here that the squirrels have the mother blank and squirrels have eaten through these wires, and I want to replace them. Um, this is actually not too bad. You can see the squirrels really did some serious damage. The baby squirrels especially, they guys chew on everything. All right, so I'm not sure about how uh, if the evergreen panels have a pretty standard like connector box or not, or if there's a connector box, but this is what's in the evergreen solar one. You can see here it's got positive and negative uh, uh, well labeled and that sort of thing. So I am just unscrewing these wires here. I don't need those knees anymore. These were up in my roof for 10 years and you can see how good the electrical connector connectors are. So this box has really done its job. These are little strain relief connectors here. Strain relief um, items here. Oh, this one needs to be unscrewed all the way. And we just pull the cables out and throw them aside into the garbage. Screw that. All of these connectors seem to be very, very much hand tight. And if you have, if you have decent strength hands, using tools you can over, over tighten things and break it. This is plastic and it can break. All right, so Here's our female connector, which goes to positive. So I'll insert it here. Inside here is a little rubber um, weather protector that squeezes down on the wire and keeps water from um, getting up there, as well as it's a, it's a strain relief. Okay, and we're gonna, I'm gonna crimp on some spade connectors on the top here. So I get them out of my pocket, okay. You can also buy a more professional crimp tool, and if you're doing a bunch of them, I'd recommend it. I'm just doing this, you know, Radio Shack style um, crimper. It's got different color codes for different size wires, and I'm using the yellow, so we're down here. I get reasonably close to the end of the wire. I don't, there's not, the, the crimp area is not too wide, and I just squeeze down as much as I can, and then do the other one. Okay, that takes a bit of force. So again, using a, a nice crimp tool might help you there if you're doing a bunch of them. And then I pull it down and feed it on up there, positioning them right. Again, making sure, you know, your po the positive is here, but you wanna make sure that, that um, this is the female connector here. This goes to positive. You wanna make sure that, that goes to which one, whatever the positive side is in your, in your wiring box here. Um, all right, so first I now tighten these down. I usually push up on the wire a little bit. I'm using a little ratchet. I love these ratchet screwdrivers. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, then I just hand tighten down the strain relief using two hands. Gets it really nicely in there. Okay, and that's all she wrote. So nice and snug. We have the connectors in nicely here. The if you take a look, sit back for a second. And if you take a look, you really want good overlap on both sides. This will allow you, if you're wiring your panels up here in series, like a lot of panels are, and I have a bunch of panels, you want to be able to go here, and you want to have the option of of of, of switching it like there. Why would you want to do it this way? It depends on how. You know, the panels on my roof go like this, right? So this way is going to be normally like this. But as I go to the second row, these are going to have to be switched. And you want good length on your cables so you can make it to the next panel nice and easily with a lot of play. So whoever's doing the installation for you has a lot of room to maneuver. And that's all. And we lock it down. And that's it.